Hello and welcome to this video on the topic of 4 bar chain. In the previous topic we studied about the concept of degree of freedom. So now in this topic we will be starting with the concept of 4 bar chain and then we will move on to study different inversions of this 4 bar chain. Now 4 bar chain is the most fundamental of the kinematic chains. This is the most basic kinematic chains that exist around us in mechanical systems. It is the most preferred mechanical devices because of its simplicity and versatility. It can be inverted into a lot of mechanisms and it's very simple as well. Now if you talk about the construction of the 4 bar chain, it consists of 4 rigid links and these links are connected in the form of a quadrilateral so if you look at a basic 4 bar chain this is what you will get this is a 4 bar chain ok so this is link 1 link 2 link 3 and link 4 connected to make a quadrilateral ok now these joints these joints are pin joints these are full joints we are talking about these are not half joints these are pin joints ok now when one of the four links is fixed a four bar chain is called a mechanism so if I fix link number one this becomes a mechanism basic definition of mechanism when you fix one link of a kinematic chain it becomes a mechanism okay now let's have some definitions before we move on to uh, higher analysis of the four bar chain now among the four links one two three and four a link that makes a complete revolution link that makes one complete revolution that link is named as crank ok the link opposite to the fixed link the link opposite to the fixed link that link is known as the coupler ok now the fourth link the fourth link if it oscillates if this fourth link oscillates it is known as rocker but if it rotates it makes another crank it makes another crank so it depends upon the fourth link whether you are going to have one crank or two cranks in a four bar chain mechanism ok now let's make a four bar chain which looks like something like this ok and then you have this then you have this and then you draw it like this. So this is a four bar chain in which this link is fixed. Let me say the length these four pin joints are named as capital ABCD. Okay, and this link is link A. The length uh, this is link A. This is link B. This is not the length. This is just the designation of the link, and this is link D. Now link D is fixed, and it is clearly seen that the length of link AB is greater than length of link AD ok now these are, there are some very important points to note in this now if D that is this link ok is less than A B and C if D is the shortest link ok so that is if 
D is the shortest link then A will rotate in a full circle so A will become your crank this means out of A, B and C and D if, if you fix the shortest link if you fix the shortest link then the link A will become your crank there is one more condition for A to become your crank that condition is that out of A, B and C whichever is the longest okay uh, let us say C is the longest right uh, the sum of that with D uh, let us take okay let's take C as longest so the sum of the longest link with the shortest link this sum should be less than the sum of the remaining links if this is the condition then also your A will become the crank so there are two necessary conditions for link let us say A to be a crank that is the first one is the shortest link should be fixed the shortest link should be fixed in this case we have D okay second necessary condition for a link A to become a crank is that sum of shortest sum of shortest and longest link is less than the sum of lengths of other two links so these are the two necessary conditions to make a link as your crank okay now as we know that the relative motions between two adjacent links so you can have B and C or you can have A and D so the relative motion between two adjacent links they remain the same irrespective of which link is fixed okay so if you fixed if you fix different different links you will get different mechanisms and this process of di fixing different links and then getting different mechanisms is known as inversions okay now we look at inversions in the next slide